right, good morning and uh, thank you for keeping it Citizen Television this particular Thursday. We are actually gearing up for the festive season. Going in, it has already started. The holidays are here with us, kids are at home. There is nothing that you can do watoto wakiwa nyumbani other than cook, cook, cook and eat, eat, eat and try different um, you know, recipes and just be creative and keep those young ones busy at home during this particular time as we get into that particular um, festive season. And in studio this morning, we just want to teach you something that you can be able to do with your children. Something simple but with a twist of... Um, Creativity. Uta, utafunzo wapa na chef mwenyako kwa studio, Chef John. Ametembea na blessing pia pale. Thank you so much uh, for creating time for us. Tukiwa jikoni this Thursday. Hapa tunasemanga kazi ni kupika na kukula on Kabisa. Thursday. Sindio? Sure. Yeah. John, you were telling me that um, there is a reason why you selected this particular um, recipe for us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuanzi hapo. All right. What is unique about what you are going to be making today? Tuchangamshe. Right. Sawa, sawa. Good morning. My name is Chef John. Uh, on show shows, I'm Chef John International 254. So today we are going to make something special, something very easy. And uh, the reason as to why we are doing this today is because our kids are at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, our parents, guardians, are taking their leaves. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have a lot of time with their kids. Mm -hmm. Why not spend some time in the kitchen? Doing something. Doing something. And not games. just something Watch. very easy. Eh? Not what, just something what, very what simple, but something games. unique. Jikoni. Eh, jikoni. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make uh, meatballs today. Mm -hmm. Tuko Christmas. Uh -huh. Christmas ni nyama. Uh -huh. Tumezo ya nyama choma, uh, nyama fry, uh -huh. chemsha, kamutura. But uh, today we're going to make meatballs. And it's going to be served with a special sauce. Mm -hmm. The sauce is honey garlic sauce. So it's mm -hmm. very sweet. Something unique, something people are not used to. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to make crepes. Crepes is a type of pancakes, but this is a unique type of pancake mm -hmm. because it does not have raisin agents. All right. High food. Oh, in a pancake yeah. imenda shule. Ile, imenda shule <laughs> na yes. Very thin. Uh -huh. And because of the kids, we're going to add in some madoido hapa na pala. Uh -huh. We're going to do uh, chocolate syrup to serve with the crepes. All right. And also the way we are going to do the crepes, it's something that kids find very interesting to do when they are at home. At home. And be sure to try this and right. share it out and so that we can reach. Sawa. Sasa yeah. kusema na kutenda. Definitely. Eh, tuwache tu kuongea, kuongea. Let's do now the practical part. Let's yeah. start straight away. But then, blessing. Interesting name I told you. Also, Thank just you. say hi to us. Hello. And about yourself. Hello, my name is Blessing. I'm assisting my chef here in kitchen. Yeah. Great. Ah, yeah. To answer, chef. Take All us right. through this. Sawa, sawa. So we're going to do a mise en place. Very simple mm -hmm. for the meatballs. Mm -hmm. So we started with the beef. Beef. This is ground beef, minced meat. We're going to combine it with uh, bread crumbs. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we're going to do white onions. We have two of them. We have the white onion and we also have the red onion. Mm -hmm. The white onion is sweet. We're going to mix it here, then that one is for the sauce. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we do is add in some white, white onion, onion, not too much. Mm -hmm. Then a bit of breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. And we, the, the ingredients also are going to be available on our yeah, socials. This is so, something that yeah. they will get in any store yeah. outside there. Just a bit of it, not too much. Then from there on, we're going to do some salt. Mm -hmm. Salt to taste. Salt to taste. Great. That is it. The next step is mixing. But before you mix, mm -hmm. you need to add in some oil. Mm -hmm. Any special type of oil? Or? No, just any vegetable right. oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, as well, many people may wonder why I'm not doing eggs. Eggs it is a binding agent mm -hmm. and it's an option. Mm -hmm. It's an option. Mm -hmm. People who do not do eggs, they can do without. Mm -hmm. So today I'm showing you how to do it without eggs. Without because people eggs. are used to making meatballs using the egg. All right. So we mix it all together. Ensure that you don't put a lot of oil. You don't want it soggy. Mm -hmm. Because so now no that is... No water is needed. No water is needed. No egg. That's just an option in case you prefer. But this is yes. a different way of doing it. Yes. 
bado itashikana it... bado itashikana because <laughs> that is usually now the interesting part Utaki about this meatballs yenye imeachana inakuwa alafu ukiweka kwa sauce ikuwe soup lazima itashikana minced meat yenye <laughs> <laughs> ume, ume fry yeah yeah so that is it this is the end product nice. so i'm going to give my friend so here. remind us there was beef there was uh, that is beef white onion white onion. oil oil on bread crumbs yes na salt na salt nikorada kabisa <laughs> kabisa it's, okay. it's, it's that easy but uh, if you want to get spicy you can now do in your spices mm -hmm. you can do mixed spices you can do garlic you can do ginger mm -hmm. yeah but now in our case we're not going to put garlic and ginger there mm -hmm. we're going to use it when we are cooking the sauce mm -hmm. yeah so as she's making the meatballs kama kawaida lazima penye unafanyia kazi pakuwe pasafi all right so as that is going on clean, yeah? definitely we are now going to make the crepes very easy the same way that we do our pancakes but we are not going to do any raisin agent no baking powder no yeast no what else there is also no add additives like uh, fruit raisins mm. uh, strawberries and all that mm -hmm. just plain so hii ni unga ya kawaida hii ni unga ya kawaida not the self freezing flour ya ngano si ya ugali oh lakini si ile ya mandazi pia ah, the kawaida ya just the kawaida one yenye aina ni yeah. okay right. portions according to the number of people that you're cooking for So there is a unga a bit of salt mm -hmm. not too much you might end up taking three or four acha niongeze kidogo ongeza kidogo tuko wengi then we have an egg okay this is also very optional uh -huh. for the guys who do not do the eggs egg, yeah. it's not a must yeah But then it ashikana you know that's the thing unajua sisi kushikana we believe kushikana eggs. iko pale <laughs> kushikana iko commit hata kwa pancake kuna kitu kinaka ugali eggs and milk I, really I, help i, I, I don't know if I, I it is just me but i usually feel like no, it's very true it's very true eggs and milk and also the post ukitumia tu unga na maji peke yake pancakes would not be pancaking uh, yes sir the, this i'm true in that <laughs> so some sugar okay according to how sweet you want it to okay. be okay okay toka hapo the option of milk or water water yeah right so all our milk is in there kibarua hapo ni inakuanga kuchanganya eh so that it's it's a, a smooth paste yeah yeah how do you know cuz How do you know that this milk is going to be enough? You know, uh, some usually tunaongeza kidogo kidogo as we go. I kuzoea. Fanya hii kazi for long eh? Kuzoea <laughs> plus pia ni kazi ya macho. Ni kazi ya you add, na macho. You add eh if you want it light, <laughs> uh -huh. unaenda ukiongeza ukiongeza. If you want it thick, uh -huh. unaeka kidogo kidogo. Uh -huh. So now in our in our case we don't want something thick. Uh -huh. You want a light texture. All right. Yeah. Oh and it it is perfect. It's like ulipima tu ukajua So I so if I can risk like that mimi I would pick a mari then try. I start oh okay I start adding unga again kama imekuwa tu <laughs> give it a try imekuwa we'll tu we'll also mean. add some bit ah, of water ah skills zangu mm, not so bad but it's it's a bit thick eh? yeah we need it lighter than this do go to so some water okay Sorry. Sorry. See my life. But niko class. Definitely. See you. As that is going on, we are going to deep fry our meatballs. Mm. So oil in a pan and then we heat it on. So the meatballs are ready. Yes. I don't know whether we captured how ama ilikuwa tu kutengeneza round like you know. So onyesha the just one the end product so how it looks like eh? yes this paste has to be smooth isn't it yes, yes. and then is all the balls is all the is how do we, how do you call them professionally is all unga unga the ones that usually are in here unga unga uto tumpira mpira uto na crabs yes yeah. io io jina io 
<laughs> so we have this that had already been made. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. Maybe make one for us so that we see just just make one for us and then to ongeze apple oh. so that we see how she was doing it. So it's already we been busy mixed. making the paste here. Yeah? It's already been mixed, uh -huh. so it's very easy. Gloves on. Mm -hmm. Right. So you shape it until you get a very nice ball. Mm -hmm. Just ensure it's all together. And since we are not uh, using eggs, you give it like uh, 15 to 30 minutes to rest. Oh, okay. So that it can all come together. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the tree. So we had already made this. That is what we are going to start with. All right. As we allow this to Take rest. some time, yeah? So this way. Great. That is one option. The other option, you, you can use a spoon. Mm -hmm. Scoop it on your hand. Mm -hmm. Then make a ball out of it. Ah, okay. Great. Can decide the sizes if you want them small, um, if you want them larger than this, yeah, yeah. depending on what you really want. Yeah, and the interesting part if you have three, four kids in the house, this is something that you are all doing, doing at the, at the same time. time. How fun is that? Yeah, so she'll continue making that. This is our oil. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to shallow fry it just a bit mm -hmm. so that it can cook lightly. You need to ensure that the oil is not too hot. Mm -hmm. If the oil is too hot, you're going to make burnt offerings. <laughs> <laughs> burnt offerings that are raw inside. <laughs> yes. So now that is option number one, where okay. you're going to deep fry it. The other option is just a bit of uh, oil, then you fry it on a pan. Mm. The third option is oven baking them. Ah, okay. Just get your oven to about 180 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Then you, you get your baking, your baking pan or baking tin layer a uh, foil on it or a parchment paper mm -hmm. then oil it a bit then place your meatballs as they are mm -hmm. in the oven for about uh, five to ten minutes and they're good to go wow yeah okay okay so now we are waiting for the oil to get hot mm -hmm. then we can start shadow frying mm -hmm. let me see your work um, you know i I try. Okay, I see, I see. <laughs> this is amazing. I try. But now we want it a bit lighter. Oh, so you need to add more. So a bit of water. If you don't want to do water, you can do milk. Okay. Pr uh, sorry, plain milk. Or you can do both. Kitaka maziwa or kitaka? Kitaka maziwa, namaji uchanganye. Hii mm. economy. Uh, yeah. Cheza kama wewe. Unacheza kama wewe. <laughs> Just a bit of milk and a bit of uh, water, water well. and you're good to go. Yeah. So you want it a bit light. So remember I said we are making crepes with uh, chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's called chocolate soil crepes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is step number one, where we first make this mixture. So it has to be light. The difference between this and the kawaida pancake, pancake. this is light, light. Yeah. Yeah. So now that is the first step. Mm -hmm. We already have this ready. Now we separate it into two mixtures. Uh -huh. Not too much. Now this is where the uh, the cooking gets interesting. Mm -hmm. Now this one we are going to add, to add cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Yes, we have it. So right we are making here. our own chocolate. Now. Yes. Uh -huh. So this adds taste as well as color. Mm -hmm. We are making our own chocolate, homemade. Uh, not really chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we just not, not chocolate, chocolate, the real one. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you put it that way, <laughs> people would, 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 would think uh, we uh, put them. Uh, uh, this eh? is not, this is not chocolate, chocolate. Please don't try this at home. <laughs> now we are making a chocolate mixture <laughs> that will be used for the crepes. Yeah. Sasa uh, pano madoido in atokea. Ah, okay. So mix it for me again ah, okay. until it's good to go. Now our oh, oil is good, you can tell it's hot. So now we dip it. Mm -hmm. Remember you said something about controlling the fire, yeah? Yes, you, you don't want it too hot. Mm.
and again this is the point where i say kids should not be doing this because of the oil let them help you at home with the preparation mm -hmm. but when it gets to the deep frying part let it's you do it away yes all right so i don't know if I'm, i've done something i'm somewhere <laughs> keep going keep going <laughs> really <laughs> Remember we said this is something you can do with your children, just as a, a nice way to bond and spend some time together as a family in the kitchen. Yeah. Something they can do without a lot of cutting and dangerous activities involved there. And as just well get them uh, busy. away from just taking the same, same thing over and over, over again. And over again. Having the same pancakes over and over again. Yeah, true. yeah. Give them some nice stories to tell their peers when they go back to school. Nice. And in this season, we are spreading love. Uh -huh. So, amuka asubuhi, tengenezea buwana hii kitu, kiamuka unamushtua. Buwana Yesu. Hallelujah. Oh so, my as you God. can see. So, tell us a bit about John, the chef. John, the chef. John, the chef is a, <laughs> is a young man uh -huh. from Kikuyu. Born again. Oh, definitely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, married to one beautiful wife uh -huh. by the name Wangare Njoki. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lazima unge emphasize ni Lazima moja. Lazima hapo moja. Eh. Na siyo moja tu. <laughs> moja marembo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, this is my profession. I'm a chef by profession. Mm -hmm. I've uh, pursued a bachelor's degree in a uh, hotel. Uh, in tourism management, mm -hmm. uh, majoring with uh, hospitality. Mm -hmm. So I run a company called, called uh, Hotels Utamwa Africa. Mm -hmm. Hotels Utamwa Africa. Hotels. Or as many people call it, HUA. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we offer uh, food and beverage catering services for corporates and uh, social functions all over the country. Uh, we are a team of about 50 guys, mm. young people. Mm. Uh, All right. And, uh, right. Good. We so how many years um, have you been doing this professionally? I was almost asking you how many years have you been cooking, but yeah. I realized <laughs> it could be as uh, it turns a long time ago back in the day. Oh, yes. So professionally, where, professionally how, how long have you been? I've been doing this. This is my second year as a company. Mm -hmm. We're going to be celebrating two years. Mm -hmm come next year february mm -hmm. yeah all right and we thank god for the progress ah so far yeah. 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 so how far along are we with the meatballs so just a few more minutes uh -huh. you can tell they've already started uh they are browning, browning nicely yeah the secret is don't let them brown too much too much yeah, yeah. so as that is cooking our cocoa butter is ready. Eh? Once I rate my skills, I'm telling you, I'm also you're, not that you're, bad, good, eh? you're good to go. <laughs> now, we said this rate, is something rate fun. My eh? skills, eh? Uh, I'll give you a six. Really? Uh, you don't have gloves. <laughs> oh, now, now. Be. Now, you a lesson one. Eh? Kesho, I'll try. Right. <laughs> so, we said this is fun to do with your kids. Mm -hmm. So, we have a squeeze bottle. This you can get it in any store. Nile a tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we get now this one that we've already added the cocoa. Get it into the bottle. Yes. So this is what we will use sort of like to decorate it. Or... Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. So that's enough. So set that aside. So that is good to go. Now on to the pa on the crepes. Let me not call them pancakes. Pancakes. Yeah. But, but you can say you can say pancakes just for the sake of you know, our viewers. <laughs> An improvised version of a pancake. <laughs> mm, but but you should know they have their professional name. All right. So an easy so, meal. Actually, I've seen how easy this is. Yeah. Very how easy. It takes a very short time to, yeah. to really prepare. prepare it. Yeah. So as well, just ensure that you're checking on the meatballs. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to keep tossing them all around. They'll break. Yeah. So you also need to be careful as they are cooking. Eh? Mm. You know, the question I asked you earlier, now I'm seeing 
you've really proven me wrong. I was wondering, zitashikana aje? Zitashikana aje? Without the, the eggs. Uh-huh. <laughs> eggs is not a must. If you're making this from home <laughs> and you have a fridge around, mm. make it, uh, now, uh, let it tuma, chill in the fridge for 10 to 15 food. minutes. Eh, ngoja amalize. Uh-huh. So you are saying 10 to 15 minutes? 10 to 15 minutes and it's good to go. Mm-hmm. Then uh, now you can start cooking it. Yeah. So you don't eat too hot. Oil. Some oil. Uh-huh. And you spread it all around. And there's the option of not using oil here. Mm-hmm. You add oil here. Mm-hmm. So you just cook it direct mm-hmm. without the oil. Mm-hmm. So now we are, do- we are going to do our crepes in two designs mm-hmm. or two styles mm-hmm. to make it even more fun for the mm-hmm. kids. So we have our pan here. Mm-hmm. The pan is hot, we've already oiled it. So the first thing is we take the first mixture mm-hmm. and spread it. Oh, okay. We said we want something thin. Okay. So to get the difference in the mixture, you add it on the pan, not well mix kwa yeah. the jug. Okay, so. so let's add a bit more. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. So spread it all around. It's breaking. All right, so that with that also, fire regulation is also important. Yes, you don't need to overcook or rather burn. Mm-hmm. We say that truck could pick a burnt offering. Burnt offering. Yeah. <laughs> you want to give your offerings. Peleka kuingine. Peleka kanisani. All right. So that's the first one. Now this is the tricky part and the interesting part. These ones are ready. Uh-huh. So what you're going to do is take them out. Mm-hmm. So bless will assist me with this. Come here. Oh, okay, great. Blessing, bless us. Bless us with your skills. <laughs> so now as she's doing that, uh-huh. now this is where we do the design. Eh? The pancake is ready, or rather the crepe. So now we decorate it. Eh? Ah. Or oh, the paste was for decoration, yes. guys. And then you do it. Yeah, what you're doing. No, just slant it a bit. This way. Yeah. Yeah, so that we can get to see what you're doing. You do it with a skill, eh? Usi weke tu kuweka. Usi weke tu yote. Awesome. So it looks like mm. that. Okay. So give it some time, then we are going to turn it. Mm. Yes. So when you turn it, here space in your decorate now, right? Ah, uh, okay, but your time, the heat Rip. enables it to cook uh-huh. lightly oh, on the okay. bottom part. Okay. So it yeah. becomes a bit firm. Yeah. Right. Another skill you need to learn is kugeuza pan. So that is one. That is how it <laughs> looks like. Uh-huh. So now we turn it one. Ah, great. Great. So now give it time. Great. Wow. Easy meal. Easy meal. Easy meal. So now here are the meatballs. They are good to go. Mm-hmm. You can tell. They already done. Let me so have a serve it. Good. So now the next step we are going to make the sauce. Mm-hmm. So they are not ready to eat yet. They are not ready to eat. <laughs> but you can have them if you want, yeah? Yeah. They are cooked. They are ready. cooked, If yeah. you want them this way, dry fry. Definitely. Yeah. So now we have the pan, some oil. Then we bring it to heat, huh? All right. Now this is where the magic happens. It's the sauce. The sauce now, yeah. yeah. Where we are going to dip the meatballs. Awesome. It is. I love it. Look at that. Wow. 
So that's the first one. Nice. You'll also do one for us. Really? Where were you class? <laughs> Yako leo nataka kunianika. So the same, repeat the same process. Okay, so you don't need a lot of oil, yeah? No, it's it's optional. As I said, you can even put oil here before you start cooking them. Mm. So take it all around. You want it to sp spread evenly. Mm, great, great. So there it is. Uh -huh. Our oil is hot. We go in first with the red onions. Remember we had two types of onions? Yes. For the today, white onions. the white that we used for meatball. Yes. And now these ones that we are using to make the paste. The sauce. Eh? <laughs> Simple life. So you repeat the same, same thing again to this one. Let me try, let me try that. Let me do this one, then you do the other one. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wanted to take it halfway, but... <laughs> Are we out of uh, the paste? So easy. Ah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, great. So we want it cooked until it's golden brown. Mm -hmm. So here is where we add in the garlic. The garlic. You, you, you as well remind us the name of the, of the sauce we are making? We are making honey garlic. Honey garlic. Honey garlic. And to make honey garlic, what do you need? We will need the red onions, some garlic, some tomato puree. Just the normal tomato, then blend it. Mm -hmm. This is the first tomato puree. This one is the tomato paste mm -hmm. that we buy in our stores, mm -hmm. the processed one. Then we will need the, ha the honey as well. Turn it. Then we'll need a bit of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Then we'll need now the spices. Yes. We have the garam masala, the mixed spices, mm -hmm. the paprika, mm -hmm. as you want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on the level of spice taste. that you want, yeah. Ah, great, great. Where? Okay. This we did a meal with a twist. And imagine it's the basic things we have in our kitchen. Definitely. It's so, the basic things and you can just use a bit of creativity to, to yeah. make something different. So our onion is ready. We go in with the, the first thing we do is the tomato puree. Mm -hmm. We want to cook it. So this is just the normal tomatoes being blended. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you added to? No. Or just the tomato? Just tomato. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry. Awesome. Mm, and this is the point you get to start feeling the aroma. Yeah. The aroma therapy session has officially begun. <laughs> so at this point, we add in some salt. Not too much, just a bit of it. Mm -hmm. As I said, now this is where the magic happens. Uh -huh, let's the see the magic. Well. Uh -huh. The soy sauce there. And then now the tomato paste. All right. Do we need more paste or? Yes, we need we more are, paste. We need just, more. Just we we need to make more. Just a bit of it mm. for demonstration. We can make it a bit lighter. Ah, okay.
if you're not careful while doing all this, you can let one thing burn in. Yeah. You don't have to multitask. That's the beauty of, yeah? of being in the kitchen. Yeah, true, true. So why 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 it, uh, did you decide that this is this is what you want to do that this is like what is going to be your your mm. full time career that is if you do it full time ah uh, all along what did you since, love about since it since I was young I've mm -hmm. uh, loved cooking could do chapatis when I was in class three mm -hmm. very nice chapatis mm -hmm. so I bet since an early age, this has been my passion mm -hmm. all throughout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even after high school, I tried a bit of uh, different things, mm -hmm. but I found myself coming back to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you 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 ran away and then it called you back. Yes. All right. Looking at our sauce, looking all to. nice and delicious there. Here it is. Mm. Awesome. I love that. You look at the color. You can tell even the flavors. You didn't, you didn't add any garlic. food color or anything. No, just no, 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 no. Everything just... This is the tomato puree. Cook it and add the tomato paste and the spices. Mm -hmm. All right. Then from there on, now you add a bit, a bit of water. Not too much. A bit of it. Mm -hmm. You look at that. So this is the point now where you get to taste. Before now you add the... The meatballs. Not even the meatballs. Oh, not, not the yet. The key ingredient that the, makes oh, it the sweet. the key ingredient. Yeah. So sweetening can be done with different uh, ingredients. You can use honey. Uh -huh. You can use barbecue sauce. Uh -huh. You can uh, use brown sugar as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Would you look at that? Why do you keep stirring and stirring? Because we want it to fuse all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if, if it's too light, if you put water and you find that it's too too light, you reduce it down. Mm -hmm. Let it cook as you stir, the water evaporates. Ah, great. So now at this point, we add in our honey. honey. There you go. Do you have two? Like, or there's another way if you don't like the sweetness? It's optional. It's optional? Yeah. Mm. So the honey is to bring in the, the, the sweetness. Ah, okay. If you don't want it sweet, you can do away with the honey. Okay. For the guys that li love uh, spicy food, you can add in what cayenne you pepper, want? you can add in uh, chili flakes, mm. pili pili akawaida. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So now this is good to go. Good. So now the only thing we need to do is taste. Is it sweet Amazing. enough? Amazing. <laughs> I should get a spoon for you. No, don't worry, don't worry. There's uh, time for that. Or oh, you want me to really want satisfy? want to, 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 to really satisfy. <laughs> we are trying to be creative. So now that is good to go. Now we add in the meatballs. Mm. No, I like it with the honey. Mm. I'm sure I that, think so. Yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> so there it is. Really sweet. Mm. And then the ginger, the, the, the garlic the garlic that is in there. So now oh, what you So you don't need to let it stay on the fire. No, 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 no. Dip no. it and yes. It's it's ready like that. Yeah. Oh okay. So but there it is. Ooh, delicious. Look at it. Oh my so God! So we said, and be the careful. Aroma in here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We said, be careful. You don't want to break the meatballs. Ah. Taki kwe supu. Eh. So you don't let it stay there. So now yes. from it, there, by the way, it will soak and become something different. Yeah. This is really good. Now from there on, now we do the the garnishing. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of it. I'm using uh, dania, uh -huh. coriander. Uh -huh. Awesome. Looks like that. Okay, okay, sour, sour. Sour, sour. One more. <laughs> so there you go. That is, yeah, it is. that is what we were preparing. So ready to serve, yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so remember we didn't use any 
eggs yeah on this you know it's optional uh, in case you don't have or you don't prefer one thing we've learned today is that they can still hold without that great so now we get to the presentation part for the meatballs mm -hmm. All right, all right. Chef John, you had a name for this meal. What was that? Now when you're presenting, you say... Uh, what the meal is, eh? <laughs> this is, we say this Do you have is a name uh, <laughs> meatballs in honey garlic sauce. Ah. Meatballs in honey garlic, garlic sauce. sauce. served with? Served with uh, chocolate swirl crepes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I don't know the if dish. the parents and the children watching will be able to remember all that, but... <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the meal. So, but don't worry, we will be uploading this on YouTube shortly, so you can watch and rewatch and rewatch and learn and try and do this. The, the first time may not be perfect, but then the more you do it, the better you become. Wow, looks really, really delicious. Yeah, and tastes as good as it looks. By the way, I've tried the sauce and I've loved it. Awesome, awesome. So we now need the sauce. This is a serving for how many people? This one can be served uh, two to, that's around 10 people. 10 If people. you just take it two. But there are some of us <laughs> who have uh, special appetites. <laughs> that we call this a plate for just is, one person. This is for 10 people? <laughs> yeah. Meatballs are mostly served as biting. <laughs> so you'll have one or two, okay. three to the maximum. <laughs> The cameraman is Listen to the chef, the professional has spoken. This is for 10 people. No dispute. <laughs> okay, there you go. So from there on, garnish it a bit more. Make it look colorful. Nice, nice, nice. I love that. Okay, there you go. And that is good to go. Good. Then now we want to look at our, our, our pancakes that have gone to school. <laughs> they are ready there. Mm -hmm. So what's the good side about doing this? Always cooking and eating and eating. And you look like this. If I were you, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pass through that door, uh, making food that is as delicious as this every day. I guess we, we you, you, you get you get used to the food. Constrain yourself. You you get used to the food. Ah, really? So the only food that I can not get used to, mm. as I told you, mm. is my wife's cooking. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. Uh, What's her name again? Her name is Wangari. Wangari. Wangari Njoki. Wangari Njoki. Yeah. Hey, see what you did. Eh? Nice. Looking nice. So there it is. Great. There you go. So now the other beautiful part mm -hmm. is the decoration part. Oh, it's not done. It's not done. Until it's done. Ah, okay. You went to school to study this, yeah? Yeah. That's, that's what you told, you told us, right? Yeah. How many years? I was in KU. KU? For, for four years. Four years. Yeah. Hospitality or? Hospitality and tourism management. Great. Yeah. And so, uh, what you were taught in class and what you found in the industry, do they... A line. Um, yes, uh, yes, what yes. are some of the things that shocked you about the real world of hospitality? Uh, I've, I've done the management part. Mm -hmm. So cooking has been a passion, as I said. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the management part, the training is more about managing the kitchen, mm -hmm. the hospitality industries mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried it for about three months. It was not I one. found uh, myself, I want to be hands-on. Hands-on and yeah. you do the... Yeah, so that's how I skipped from being employed to, to starting my own, own company. That's awesome. Yes. Great. So how is it coming along? 
we we thanking God day in day out. Uh -huh. We our company is growing. We have about as I had said 50 guys, young guys mm -hmm. who we travel all around. All around mm. parts of the country as we offer in our services. Oh ah, great. Yeah. Thank then, you so uh, much. And look at our food. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? And it's something that you can do in your kitchen with your kids. Something very easy and very basic. Hey, would you look at that? You can serve it for lunch, for breakfast. We do it more. We, what time of the day you want to take. But it looks really amazing. We've had an amazing lady also who has been assisting us up. I just wanted to say something, Kidogo, just to do a, um, you know, blessing. A bit about yourself, Salimi, I want to, we want to also know a bit about you and uh, how you got into this space, how you are loving it, what is it teaching you, yeah? Okay, as I said, my name is Blessing. I am a student at ZTEC. I'm doing hospitality and tourism management. It has been a great journey working with uh, my chef here. Um, I hope for the best. Um, this is my dream. Yeah. I want to be one day like like him, eh? Yes. As 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 comfortable in your space as he is, yeah. Yes, doing what he's time. doing. Yes. Amazing. And thank you for coming and thank you for creating time. And this is how we wrap it up. Na isho huwa haishi kama hatuja. The five star experience. challenge pancake, but blessing a many idea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You to try? No, I don't know if you have Wow, talking and <laughs> hmm? another set. Muni join bana. Hmm? Crazy. Mm hmm. Nisi se metu nam chocha. Hmm. What do you think? Good, right? I know. We can dig in some more. What's it to taste? You, you can now mix it you know together with, uh, <laughs> with the crepes. <laughs> mm, mm. Probably as we continue enjoying, mm -hmm. I want to know what, what you do to remain unique, to remain ahead of the park. There's a lot of competition right now in this space that you're in, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it that you do to stay relevant? Uh, we've, uh, in the catering industry, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to stay in business, you need to ensure that your food is fresh mm -hmm. and uh, definitely delicious. Mm -hmm. That gives you a step, well, one more step ahead mm -hmm. uh, with uh, your fellow competitors. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I, young with, I, I work with young people. Mm -hmm. All the 50 staffs are guys who are in uh, campus institutes and colleges. Mm -hmm. So we've trained ourselves, we've groomed ourselves very well. So even in our social media platforms at Hotels Utamu Africa, if you look at the pictures there, you'll be able to tell that these are guys who are doing something unique and mm -hmm. something special. And that is what has enabled us to grow with a very fast uh, rate mm -hmm. and even be able to move from one county to the other offering our services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me ask, you know, you said something very interesting about you decided to employ yourself and we are living in an era where that is becoming something that is significant if you ask me going by the rates of unemployment i want to talk to young people about what motivated you why didn't you want to be under you know employment or like somewhere you could be doing this in some hotel somewhere yeah, you, know, you could be paid salary yeah, yeah. but then you opted to do something of your own yeah um and despite the risks that are involved welcome i want to do this probably uh, what what how, how 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 have you made that work also uh business is as a i try this yeah definitely <laughs> Business is a risk, uh -huh. and uh, one thing I know that you need is uh, believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, you master your skill, believe in yourself, mm -hmm. and then give it time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to start. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how small you start, just start. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's the first step to success. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're doing, just start. Then from there on, just have faith and believe in yourself mm -hmm. and give it time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always easier said than done. Just start. What did your starting look like? 
Uh, <laughs> in fact, we were talking with uh, the first client mm -hmm. uh, that I did. That is last year, but one on uh, November. We did our first row ratio. We were joking about it because uh, I, we did not have uniform. We were just doing black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, we met in a hotel and I just told him, by then, do you know what? I can deliver without anything. The only thing, I, I was right from school. Fresh I had not even into graduated. the industry. Yes, mm -hmm. I had not even graduated. I had gone for attachment here and there. But now I told him, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I would say this and people say that I'm exaggerating or it's a joke. But the only thing I would say that I had is my set of knife and my chef jacket. Mm -hmm. And then a, a couple of friends, mm -hmm. about six of them. Mm -hmm. And that is how we started. Mm -hmm. From there on, almost two years down the line, we can cater for even 3,000 comfortably mm -hmm. without hiring equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm was, saying this Was there a season you hit rock bottom and you were like almost changing yeah. your mind yeah, 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 on yeah. what it, you're doing? Uh, uh, the, the, the competition is stiff mm -hmm. and there are guys who have already established themselves in the industry. The equipment are out of this world. When, once they do a setup, you're like, wow. This is a catering company, but their setup is five five star. Mm -hmm. So competing with such people in the industry and the fact that they've been there for long, we are just starters. Mm -hmm. That at some point was a bit challenging, not having the equipment that are needed, not being able to know how to transport my guys from one point to the other point. That was a, well, that, that was a challenge. But along the way, to me, some ground. Mm. Yeah. You learn on the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two years down the line, here Two we years are. Down the line, here we are. And Great. Thank God. An amazing story. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to having this conversation with you, like, you know. Mbele uko tuone, like a tour gani utako mechikua. Definitely. Such an inspiration, a young yeah. person doing what he does best and loving it. Thank you so much. As we wind up your message for the season. Unajua leo umetu setia mood ya festive, eh? So, <laughs> your message for this season and then blessing pia wewe. Ambia watu kitu, tunelekea Christmas, tunelekea New Year's. And then we wrap this up and make sure you try this at home. Definitely. Yeah? My message for the season is let us spread this love. With uh, whatever literal that you have, share it out. Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas is all about love. Love with uh, neighbors, the love of Christ, that is what we're supposed to display to each and every person. Thank you. So let us spread it through sharing. In my place, I spread it through food. Great, through yes. food. Blessing? What I can just say is... Uh, Merry Christmas. That's Merry, cr hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching this and also just keeping us company as we were doing this in the kitchen. We do this each and every Thursday and it's been amazing and we hope wherever you are, we are changing you in a way and teaching you something to spice up your kitchen and your skills day after day. My name is Safina Chengoma. For now, it's a wrap. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Thank you.